Hey Cougars, so with Rojinka being a new thing this year, I decided to ask Father Paul some questions and I also wanted to ask a few students about it too. So, here it is. The common consensus was that a whole house is just too big to really do what we want to do with the house system. And so everybody had this kind of way of subdividing the houses into something smaller and more manageable. Um, and as we looked at the needs of our school, uh, especially kind of given that really cool tie uh, with the word Rojinka to uh, John Paul the Great, we thought that um, having those six groups within the house, um, ideally each with two staff members, uh, would kind of suit the, the needs of our school as well as kind of uh, serve the purpose of uh, kind of what we were hoping for with the house system in general. What was your first thought on Rojinka compared to now? Well, when I first heard about Rojinka, I thought it was kind of interesting going into a new group of people I've never met before, with especially people from older, you know, levels from seniors to juniors to sophomores. It was scary, you know, because I'm a freshman. But I think it's really cool because a lot of upper classmen are really nice, honestly. Mm -hmm. I love how um, a whole bunch of ages and grades can come together and just get to know each other. Um, I think that it's really fun, something that's like a nice break and I kind of look forward to it every day. So Rojinka is essentially um, trying to provide a space within the school day to build and foster connections uh, student to student as well as staff to student. Um, kind of in a, in a more uh, familial way, right? That's why we call it Rojinka, right? That means little mm -hmm. family. Um, and, uh, and so ultimately the purpose is to um, kind of be that spot where I, and it's why we enforce the empty hands policy, right? Where I don't have my phone or my computer, and I'm not worried about homework or, or what I'm supposed to read for this next class or whatever. Um, the, the whole point is to uh, bring people together in order to help them get to know one another and be known by someone else. Um, and kind of fostering those, those connections um, in an authentic and kind of organic way um, to uh, kind of uh, serve uh, our student population in a, in a different way than academics can, right? It's not a failure of the academic system, it's just that academics are for something else and, and we saw this, this other need um, that we're trying to meet uh, with Rojinka. Um, what I love about my Rojinka is the seniors, most of my friends are in it, and uh, my Rojinka leaders. So how has Rojinka benefited you? Um, I've become a lot more close with people that I didn't really know before. Has Rojinka helped you in any way? <laughs> yes, it has um, put me in a good mood um, for the whole day and just like having fun with a whole bunch of um, other kids that I didn't know. Well, that's it, Cougars. Now, I feel like the best household is the Joseph household, but that's just my opinion. But anyway, I really hope that you appreciate what went into Rojinka and what came out of it.